When a show has over 500 episodes spanning 24 seasons, there are always going to be some that stick out and divide the opinions of fans. Hello everybody, my name is The Thomas Cynic, and today I'll be going over five of the most controversial episodes in Thomas history, and explaining why they divide so many people across the world. Before we get into a video like this, I do feel that it is important to remind everyone that my opinions on these episodes that I'll be sharing are just that, opinions. You are completely free to disagree with me about these episodes, but please be respectful in the comments section. This is a shorter video, but I have a larger video in the works that will hopefully be released before the end of my summer holidays. So please subscribe to boost my ego, and let's talk about the most divisive episodes of a 37-year-old TV show. So our first pick for today is one that many people might not expect, and that is Rusty Saves the Day. I asked on the Thomas Wiki to see what people thought about this episode, since it's an episode I've been in two minds about myself. The results were eye-opening. A lot of people didn't like it because of how out of character Sir Topham Hatt is. Rusty Saves the Day also breaks the series' continuity quite badly, because it says that Scar Lowy and Reneus have their own special line, and that as Thomas 1, Edward 2, Henry 3 says, it feels like they rewrote Sodor's history simply for this episode. However, there are also many positives here. The model work is impressive, and it was nice to see Elizabeth again after her debut earlier in the season. The music is also very solid, and the character interaction is spot on. This episode certainly isn't as controversial as the other picks on the list, but it still has a way of dividing fans' opinions nonetheless. Personally, I enjoy it, but don't really hold it as canon. For our first and last CGI episode on the list, we have the missing Christmas decorations. This episode from season 17 was... Well, weird. In this episode, Diesel 10 makes his only appearance outside of a special. It feels very off, because Diesel 10 was always a character reserved for bigger occasions and larger plotlines. This was effectively Sydney's debut episode as well, and though he was used nicely and fit nicely with the moral, Diesel 10 eventually being nice again feels like a very Miller kind of concept to me. Villains shouldn't always be redeemed, there's nothing wrong with them just disappearing off the scene. Anyway, the only reason Diesel 10 was used here was as a plot device to actually steal the decorations from Tidmouth Sheds. I asked a few of my friends what they thought of this episode, and there were a few interesting opinions to be sure. I think Oliver Toad Toad put it well, that it's good as a CGI episode, but not generally, and has some character inconsistencies as well. The lighting is certainly great, but the writing is a little more controversial. General Bacon also raised a good point, that it deals with the Steamies and Diesels conflict much more tastefully than the Miller specials did and acknowledge that it isn't such a black and white issue. Eddie doesn't like it as much, and honestly, I'm inclined to agree with him. Diesel 10 was indeed mostly brought back from merchandise, and as Eddie says, the Christmas theme isn't done as well as it is in some other episodes. My favourite episode of all time is actually the third pick on this list, and that's Rusty and the Boulder. Another story centred around Rusty, this one is still pretty controversial even many years after it was aired. Personally, I absolutely adore this episode for its tone, action sequences, and music, but many people think it's a little too unrealistic for Thomas. Although season 5 is quite the fan favourite today, people didn't actually like the season overall when it came out. Rusty and the Boulder is still frowned down upon by some today because they claim it's off-brand for Thomas. I respectfully disagree with this, however. Unlike Tatmer, it's never outright stated that there is something supernatural at work here, and although the episode is very different, I think it actually makes a nice change from the purely engine-based runaways of the season. While this episode has gained some popularity over the years, the Audrey purists out there would say that Rusty and the Boulder completely violates what the Reverend's vision for the world of Sodor was. Personally, I think it was completely fine for Oldcroft, Mitten and their team to have a different vision for Sodor, and if anything, I slightly prefer it. While I can understand the other side of the argument, I do feel that Rusty and the Boulder is the best episode of the show, and I will continue to believe that. So the number two spot on this list isn't technically an episode, but rather a cancelled episode that was initially going to be released in season two, but was cut due to a plot that wasn't easily adapted to the screen. I am, of course, talking about The Missing Coach. This is a railway series story that was going to serve as an introduction to the characters of Donald and Douglas but the plot was deemed too complicated for younger children to understand. Maybe controversial isn't the best word to describe this episode, since I'm pretty sure everyone wishes it had been made, but it certainly has sparked a lot of curiosity, creativity, and research within the fandom. This is one of Thomas's few cancelled episodes, but Gordon Goes Foreign is of a similar vein. 
There have been many searches made for the origins and the production history of these two episodes, but very few traces have been found. The Missing Coach doesn't quite divide fan opinion like the rest on this list, but I'd still label it as having an air of mystery and controversy around it. But now, it's time for pick number one. Easily the most controversial episode over 37 years, Rusty to the Rescue is our number one pick. Rusty to the Rescue is simultaneously loved and hated by fans around the world. Why is that? Well, from a technical standpoint, it is a fantastic episode. The music is some of the best in the show hands down, the sets are perfect, the cinematography is wonderful, the narration in both dubs is wonderful, and it presents nice character development for Rusty. Speaking of which, over half of the controversial episodes in this list involve him. Strange. Anyway, back to Rusty to the rescue. So I've gone over some positives, but what if I told you that you'll be hard pressed to find a fan who doesn't actually hate what this episode did to the geography of Sodor. Essentially, this episode shows the narrow gauge railway extending all the way onto mainland England, which just, well, isn't a thing. It creates a lot of plot holes and simply doesn't work. Some people have also dubbed this episode a kind of escape wannabe, not just for the general tone, but because it even borrows some lines and similar shots from that episode. However, it once again has to be said that this is a practically stunning episode. So, what are my thoughts on it? To put it simply, I like it. I do feel that the canon is a little too warped here, but I still enjoy the episode for what it is. Just like Rusty Saves the Day, I enjoy it, but don't necessarily hold it as canon to my Thomas and Friends timeline. Well folks, I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to leave episodes that you find controversial down below in the comments. As I said, this video is quite short, but I wanted to make something like this for a little while now. If you want to see more videos like this, then do let me know. I'm always interested in what you guys want to see on the channel. This has been the Thomas Sinek, and until the next time, have a good one.